Hi, I'm Dr. Yanning Ling. I'm one of the palm trees in Toronto area. So what if your kid has a red eyelid right now? COVID-19 is happening, offices are closed. Um, you can still find optometrists with telehealth and we're able to help you. So that's through uh, teleconferencing. Doxy.me is one of the examples that could be used for online waiting room and online uh, video conferencing with patient privacy protection. So I'm one of the optometrists that offers telehealth. So uh, let's say the kid has a red lid. It's not exactly swollen, uh, it could be patchy. So that could be an eczema. So eczemas, we could prescribe an ointment. Uh, so with the video conferencing, we can look into details to see if it's really uh, elevated or otherwise. And uh, the ointment can help uh, make it better or minimize eczema. So for uh, the other case, the eye is red and swollen, um, that is likely sty or periorbital cellulitis. So if it's a sty, it's actually really common. Kids will touch everything and then they touch their eyes. So if that's the case, they need an antibiotic and it could be a pill or a suspension. So the optometrist can take a look at teleconferencing through the video, uh, prescribe, send it over an email and you can fill it in the pharmacy. And if, um, you want to prevent the sty from happening, it's good to remind the kid to wash their hands before they touch their eyes. The worst of case is periorbital cellulitis. So that is more uh, critical than other uh, red eye problems. Uh, you need to see the optometrist on the same day. So with periorbital cellulitis, um, the soft tissues around the eye could be swollen. That could happen with uh, sinus infection, ear infection, uh, previous dental work and uh, related infections around the eyes. So uh, with that, uh, the optometrist may need to see more details. Uh, again, can do it with the video conferencing. We'll give you oral medication. And in some cases, they may require injection or referrals. And optometrists in Ontario will still have some contact with uh, local surgeons. And if it's required, we can send you to the uh, ophthalmologist. So uh, during this COVID-19, if you have any eye questions, please direct to your optometrist or you can comment below. Uh, just stay calm and carry on and let's get over this. Thank you. Thank you for watching.